Casual new players will hate this boss, but for people like me, it is content. That's right, Bloody Puddles, the hardest map of the game, with the boss this week. Obviously, because it's the hardest map in the game, they've reduced the modifiers. Only half HP Lich and 40% speed, but even then, it's going to be a tricky one, because they also banned, I believe, sub and some restrictions as boss factory is gone. Anyways, for the challenge, we're going to do a ranked mode. Least Cash is the one for this week, and I've cooked up a strategy that can do pretty decently. Now, all the current top scores here, apparently the best strategy right now is actually not using Paragons at all. But I have a strategy involving Paragons that can very easily uh, get a top 50 score, which right now is an insane $2.5 million spent. We're obviously not going to need anywhere near that, that much money, though. So I've already skipped over the first nine rounds, but let me just tell you what I did. I picked Geraldo as the hero, and then I dropped the NFT round one because we got extra starting cash. Also, Wing Monkey Ace and a Dart Monkey. And we end off, start off this round with enough money for a farm drop down. Now, I did mention that I said I was going to go for Paragons. However, even though I dropped an Ace down here, it's not going to be Ace because, again, for at least cash, uh, Ace Paragon is quite expensive. I believe we can do this without the Ace. For now, though, the Wing Monkey Ace is really good early game because just the random darts flying everywhere helps snipe a good amount of balloons. I feel like the early game of this run is going to be pretty annoying because of how uh, hard, you know, five uh, lands on this map. We gotta drop a lot of extra defense compared to a normal boss run, so uh, I'm gonna have to get a shooty turret for these rounds here. And then probably a second shooty turret as well on the other side for the upcoming round 15, etc. Something like here, I guess, for now. So three shooty turrets, and hopefully we can uh, afford our second farm after this point here. I know Benjamin is probably a better choice for early game because he, one, he regains lives, which is useful for Blitch, and two, he makes more money, but uh, I kind of want the utility of Geraldo. You'll see why later. His items will be really handy. Let's try to get a farm this round. Thank you very much. These rounds are so awkward. The one's on lane one and five that I have to uh, figure eight this ace because we're fine with that, the right side. Just this left side is awful. I can't take it. No, I can't take it. 59. Five shooting turrets. Sniper for round 21. That's how crazy of a defense we have to build. Just to save lives. Trust me, it gets easier once we get through the early game. Because then, like, because the boss only spawns on one lane. As I always say with bosses, it's always the first couple rounds that matter the most. Because that's where you snowball. 81 lives? I probably could do better than that. But that's fine. So, after round 30, here is where I want to... Uh, sell the NFT. That's when their interest rate goes down. And when interest rates go down, we sell. And with the extra money, watch as I do the following. IMF loan. We're doing IMF loan uh, farming early game. Because uh, if you didn't also notice, Monkey Monkey Opus is banned. Which really sucks to see. Because that's a really good early game. So thus, the next best thing is taking and making deposits. And then collecting every couple rounds. This used to be a very annoying tactic, but I've gotten used to it, personally speaking. For 33, we'll give uh, a Geraldo camp pot so all the shooty turrets can see camo. Bro, are we gonna leave these yellows? That's so sad. Oh my god. What a waste of a camo pot if we just leak these. Now we finally get the loan, so it, just to make things easier, quickly, an 030 should uh, be very helpful for the early game. And with the extra 10k, let me do... Uh, Marketplace, Marketplace, and uh, Boats. Personally, I'm going to go for boat farming this game. That's why I'm going bottom path as well. Trade up our army. It may not be the best least cast strategy because it's pretty expensive getting 20 merchantmen up. But my, re my main reason for doing this is for the Buck Paragon. Instead of Ace, I think Buccaneer right here can do crazy damage to uh, uh, Tier 5 Lich. So therefore, Boats will help in getting us the... Uh, income needed to get Buccaneer Paragon, and also get some good degrees on it. IMF loan full, collect, deposit, and deposit again. I'm pretty sure this is the only viable tier 1 strategy that's cheap, and that's Elite Defender. Elite Defender, Leaking Lives, plus Lich is crazy. Crazy synergy. So that's why we're going to bank the cash to collect, like, right about when 40 starts, and also take out a 10k loan to afford this easily. That's the beauty of IMF loan. You may not have the money immediately, 
And that's where the extra 10k loan comes in really handy. You don't have to pay interest on it because you only have to owe 10 more k, 10k back. Like, isn't that crazy? In this game, they allow you to take interest for your loans. That would never be a thing in the real world. Anyway, let's see. I'm $13,000 short. Do you think I could wait one more round? I'm gonna try, okay? One round. Here comes Lich, only 15k HP. Yeah, and that's where the, like, low health is kind of a big deal. So I need $4,700 before I take this, this 10k loan out, but I think we're popping it too quickly. No, this is bad. You don't want the skull to spawn before we get Elite Defender up. But I'm uh, $700 short. No way. Come on, don't hit the skull, don't hit the skull. Loan. Got it. Nice. And we also spawned the... Uh, wait, we lost too many lives. No, 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 no. I leaked like 40 lives getting Elite Defender there, so let's go back to 40. Come on. This. Okay, there we go. Got it? This time we didn't leak any lives. So, uh, well, we did, but, like, only the Magic Shield Live, which is fine. We'll look how quickly the Forex Elite Defender destroys, though. And with Monkey Knowledge, there's no cooldown in it, so you get 4x attack speed immediately. By immediately, I mean right when a balloon leaks, it will shoot a hyperspeed like that. Okay, I actually lost a couple more lives this round than is ideal. Yeah, 49. It's okay. We're gonna gain two lives per round with Marketplace. Slash Central Market soon. So we should be we should be good at 49 here, right? Yes, sir. We also we should collect now. Redeposit. Get a flavor trade so that this sells for more money, and then. I'll sell this after 44, okay? Because we probably won't need Elite Defender for tier 2. I've got a different strategy cooked up. So I'll take the 20k right now and, you know, accelerate my uh, income lead. Now, this part's also really tricky, because now that I sold my, my main DPS, the custom Lich boss spawns out F Moabs, like, during these rounds too, which is really annoying. So uh, I'm probably going to have to do stuff like um, Jerry Fire. So take out Loan. I can't afford it. But you see, look, look at this FMOAB. That's ridiculous. All the way on the right side. So I, I gotta think of something. Okay, let's try this again. We'll upgrade this one to Trade Empire. We'll pick all these so the Jerry Fires get extra damage, and then hopefully this is enough so that I can drop a glue. They do have reduced mob HP, and maybe that's why they're a bit easier. But even then, even then. So you see, yep, that's probably the cheapest way to get through it. Two Jerry's and a glue, and then we'll just buy Grape Shot on these ones. Because uh, Drain Empire gets extra bonus damage. So if I just do this, and this, and this, I shouldn't need anything on this side, right? It should hold, yeah. Am I dead this round too? Or how are there two f moves this round? That's ridiculous. These Lich spawns are just simply unfair, man. Okay, double Jerry Fire, double Pickle. We've gone crazy. And we'll probably use our glues here. Yep, yep, yep. All of them? Yeah. Okay, things will be easier now that we do this, though. Collect for a, a fat 9k. Now, you can fit six boats in this pond, and I kind of need that, because uh, otherwise I can't reach 20 um, uh, boats, which is what you need to, you know, have an efficient boat farm. Okay, that actually wasn't so bad. There are six. I know they're not under discount, but that's fine. Maybe I should buy a discount, though. Let me see. Okay, this is probably not very efficient, but I kind of want a discount, I'm not gonna lie, for these six boats here. Yep, every, every single one should at least be upgraded Grape Shot, just to help out for these f mobs here, because soon we're gonna run out of the Jerry Fire, which is gonna be trouble for these rounds. So, loan, merchants, 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 and I'm gonna have 19 stacks. So close to the max. I think there is a way to get, like, six in this pond here. But I can't be bothered, so we're gonna just stop at 19, sadly. As depressing as 19 missing, like, one boat is, it's alright. We could do a load of the Abyss as well, but that would be an extra 30k on top. So, personally, not worth it. So, since I already have two uh, marketplaces dropped down, I'll do Central Markets. Now, the thing is, again, with Elise Cash, I'm not I'm not actually gonna max out my boat army. So, I might st I'm gonna stop a ma majority of these at, like, 0-1-3. Not even get Flavor Trades. Maybe a couple. Not even get 10 Central Markets either. I personally think I just need enough to get Boat Paragon, and we're good. Like, I'm genuinely serious here. Uh, just another flavor here, and I think that's it. I think I'm done with boat farming. I uh, will do one more, though, as in a Monkey City, for a massive range here. Oh, I should have done that before getting these, like, because these are undiscounted. Oh, well, that's fine. That's, like, minus 2k down the drain. Also, crap, why did I up 
Why do I upgrade this one out of range of the Monkey City? A couple things are imperfect here, but that's fine. It'll just cost us an extra couple thousand. Now, I might as well also just upgrade all these to Grape Shot as well, or rather fully crossbar them to Hotshot. Because remember, with Paragon Requirements, you need 100 tiers of, uh, like, boats under Tier 5. Given I have 19 other ones right now, even doing all of them to Oath 2 3 will not hit the 100 requirements. Personally, I think it's worth spending the extra 1k per, like, per crosspath here. You know what? Better safe than sorry. One more, one more. I'm done. I'll take the extra 5,000. And now I got, a, I got two rounds to uh, build up my uh, um, Tier 2 defense. In fact, I think that's enough to perfectly go for the following. Almost Kripa Moab. But that's where we collect. Get Kripa Moab. 502. And I'm going to sell one boat here to get... Because remember, I need Tier 5 boats. And then this one's going to be an aircraft carrier. Aircraft carrier plus cripple is enough damage to be tier 2, I'm pretty sure. The only problem is I can't afford carrier yet, so let me see. I deposit, and um, I guess I'd hold. Uh, Yeah, I'm not going to afford it. Crap. I guess I'll have to just simply stop at aircraft carrier and see if that's enough. But cripple is huge here because it stuns the chain moabs, which are a huge problem, as you can see. Maybe I, I might be able to beat this without the uh, aircraft carrier, although it's going to be way worse. Uh, do I have enough lives also to tank all this? 12 lives per uh, per leak, but I'm leaking every single time here. That's not good. Ah, crap. This is going to be annoying. There's like five chain mobs here. Come on. Hold, cripple, hold. And okay, we did afford it. That's good. That's good. Come on, right in time for here. That's going to be a big damage bonus. And I think... We're good. It's not ideal to spend, like, 40k on, like, this tower. That's not going to turn into a Paragon later, but... I think looking at, you know, the game field, that's... There's not much else I could do for cheap to easily beat this. Because without the Crimmel Web, like, the Cure Flickship does almost zero damage to Lich. Trust me. I have tried. This will be a first try, though. Nice. So, again, I'm basically done farming at this point. The only thing I'm going to spend from here is the money for uh, Paragons. Okay, next up, I'm building Dart for Dart Paragon, okay? So I'm just dropping it down early so I get like a couple pops on it. Ideally, I want Degree 40 Dart, but I know with a Makeshift Dart, you only get Degree 20 or something like that. So we might... It's going to be really bad if I use Cash Lighter, but I might have to just for 40. Yes, the delicious 400 pops. It's not going to do a whole lot. But maybe when Tier 3 Lich comes in, it can accrue a little bit of pops that way. It's annoying, though, because the Crypto is full range, so it's going to be stealing pops from my boat and my Dart Monkey. The boat I don't care about too much, because, remember, the money the boats make will count as pops toward Paragon Degree. But for Dart, you can't make money, so your only way to get a higher degree is, like, popping whatever balloons you can. So remember, just like the boat, 100 tiers of uh, Dart Monkeys and below... 20 032s get me there, which is what I'm going to do. All right, now for two or three. As I mentioned, it's going to be Dark Paragon, but the thing is, I don't need it immediately. I think we can do some damage to it first so we can get a uh, better Dark Degree. Like, just to show you, for example, if I pulled it out now, it would only be Degree 35. Yikes. Like, I don't know if 40 is necessary, but it would be huge. Huge help. So that's where the Dark Monkeys here come in handy. So I know they heal Lich, alright? I know. But even though they heal Lich, it doesn't mean you can't steal pop count, like, or get pops from doing damage to Lich here. So uh, let me wait for more Dark Monkeys to be arranged. And then, frick it. Blast off now. It'll do some pretty crazy damage. And now it takes away, but that's fine. Because we just, like, got a crap ton of pops there. And we can wait, like, pretty, pretty late to pop Lich here eventually. That's the master plan to maybe squeeze it a few degrees. Let me just see, though. Can I even beat a Lich Soul? Like, a Skull. I can't. I need Dark Paragon for this part. So that's, that's the problem. I can't wait too long, sadly. So let me just see with that five seconds of Fan Club. Um, damn. It's still 35. That's not good. The thing is, it's so much money to get to 40. Like, watch this. I'm gonna buy four Fan Clubs. Blast off now. That's 30k. Just for 38. But I'm obviously going to need more than that. So maybe I just roll a 35 and just hope it, it works. And save 50,000 plus that way. Because as it stands, it's already going to be a lot of money. 
All right, let's hope I don't regret this, because, like, I need Dark Dragon on a solo tier 4 as well. Because if you want a high degree boat, you want to wait last minute, aka tier 5. Like, we're basically missing out on 20% damage, if not a little bit more than that. Because that's, like, the power spike you get for every 20 degrees. Or is it 25? Either way, it's a lot. Looking at how it's doing against tier 3, oh, this is going to be a really a bad idea. I can already feel it, but whatever. Uh, additionally, I've done some testing, and I think I need this for tier 4. Genuinely. <laughs> glue. Mop glue. 013s on each side, because uh, the chain balloons don't come up from the middle, if you've noticed. They come up from whatever lane is active, which means it could even be on lane 1 and 5. And Dark Paragon can't even hit lane 5, if you have seen. And those chain DTs are really scary, so I need to slow them down. In fact, I think I even need this. Yeah, a balloon sabo. You don't ever see this in a boss, but I think in this case it's warranted. Alright, moment of truth here. Now, I'm also at this point going to sell one of these boats here for a pirate lord, because, again, I need I need to get this anyway. And this does hook in, I believe, chain stuff. Also, holy crap, this is taking forever. That's not good. <laughs> Dark Paragon is... Uh, I would say decent, only when Lich is at the exit and the entrance. If it's in the middle, then we don't get good bounces, as you, as you can see. Also, DDTs. See? That's the problem I was talking about. Even with, uh... Wait, oh right, these don't have camo. I guess I'm gonna have to give one to it. But that is precisely why I need to Sabo for those hard parts there. Because they cannot keep up. So, we'll Sabo right when this hits. Wait. Uh, now... Does it even work in this case? Or are we still dead? They are so tanky. <laughs> Yikes, we leaked twice there. So this is why I personally believe we cannot do it. This is why I don't think we can do it, look. We're gonna leak again there. So, um... Alright, two Sabos, I give up. For now. <laughs> Sabos only 8 extra K compared to an extra 50k in <laughs> the cash lighter, so... Uh... If you want to think about it that way. Also, I think we need to, uh, if camo so that Peeler can hook them in. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is cooked. So we can't hook in DDTs like that, that's nice. Um, another hook in here? Yeah? Actually, no hook in, no hook in. Hold. Nice. Or no Sabo. I used hook in, but not Sabo. Uh, it looks a little bit behind pace, but remember, it picks up over here. Because we're doing extra damage, but obviously, this leaves not a lot, a lot of time for the soul. So, uh, uh, there's a Sabo. Are we gonna do it? No way. I think it's too late, man. Isn't it crazy how close that is, though? It's so close. Maybe it can work. Wait, 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 come on. If this could work, that would be nutty. Please, please, please. Oh my god. It does work. Okay. Now we gotta hope that the Buck Paragon is good enough, though, to beat tier, uh... Tier 5. I'm impressed. I guess all we had to do was slow, slow, slow it down. Because it wasn't the soul that was the problem, it was just the chain stuff. So remember, now the, the most we can do is just, like, let Pirate Lord hook in as many of these as possible. So try to save them for ZMGs or FZMGs. Uh, there's ZMGs here, so we'll hook it in. So you can even see that I overflowed in the cash. I have more money than I need for the Bug Paragon. So I probably could have, like, not gone some flavor trades or a marketplace. Better safe than sorry, eh? I'm not gonna hook in these mobs here, they're not worth it. Let's save for 111, where I know there's fortified uh, Zomgas. Oh, FZMGs, yummy. Two FZMGs. Amazing hook. Yummy. More FZMGs. About two and a half million pops now. Across the boats. Oh my god, we're gonna leak. Are you kidding me? Dark Paragon cannot beat 117. <laughs> Damn, even with the Sabo. So, I guess I would have to Camel Pot? Sure. Or actually, I should have given Camel Pot on the, on the Sniper instead. Because this is still Sketch. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> sniper does better, right, on this side? I believe so. Actually, uh, that's scary. <laughs> it holds, though. It holds. It holds. Oh my god, I don't have Sabo for this part. F off. F off. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Only in Bloody Puddles is, like, these rounds not free with the Paragon on the field. So, let's first see if I spend no more money. 
what degree is it? Is it... 49. That's pretty good, I think. And if we spend nothing more, that will put our energy score below 1.2 million, which, again, I'll take. I'll take for a run that requires two Paragons. So we also want to sit on last, I guess, for attack speed. Although, um, we should be careful of that. Just get a count plot for DTs, and that's it. Let's run it. Final tier. We should also save the hook in for the, uh, well, the chain DTs. That's obviously a, a given. We've got two Sabos and hooks to work with, so this round... No DT, so we'll just hook it in immediately. Wait, we got it with a normal hook, but that's... Yeah, you kind of wish it would pop faster so Lich can be damaged earlier. Ah, well. DT's probably spawning here? Or no? Okay, no DT's yet, so no Sabo. Uh, how about now? Still no, okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm alright with that. But you see, this is why I think it's it's gonna be enough. We're, st we're ahead of pace th versus tier 4. Great news. Oh, no, I gotta stop with this part here. I might still be dead. So it turns out it's the uh, Moab certain issue. Okay, we got it this time. Nice. Thank you, retry last round. It's just for lane 1 and 5. If it's lane 2 and 4, I think we're good. So I'll probably use my Sabo here, right? Even though no DT is, yeah. Use that. Another hook. And we are back to lane... Uh, only lane 3. Okay, this is fine. Come on. There's no DTs because none of these rounds have DTs, so that's good news. Uh, that soul got close, but I think this works. Nice. No Ace Paragon needed. No Ace Paragon needed. So yeah, as I said, not the hardest boss of all time. It is definitely scary, though. The fact that it is on Bloody Puddles. But that was a lot of fun. Uh, overall pop count, 16 million on the boat. How much did it dart yet? 11. Nice. And yep, that'll put us top 10, even with a score that's double the amount of uh, the current T1. Once again, as I said, I will take it for a, a chill run that, you know, used multiple Paragons.